Hi, my name's Daryl, and here at Anistic, as you know, our mission is to save your company carbon, nice and easy. We get questions coming in from uh, all over the place, from the web, chat, email, etc. And today's question, Mariella, is... Well, one of the top questions we get is, what are science-based targets? What are science-based targets? Okay, so what are science-based targets? Uh, when you look to save carbon, the first thing you need to do is find out where you're at at the start. So that's called the baseline. So you say, currently, this is what this is what our carbon sort of footprint is. You then set a target about where you're going to get to. And there's two ways of looking at the target or sort of thinking about the target. The first is to say, well, for example, in 2030, we're going to reduce it by, say, 50%. It's very common to see that a lot. So by 2030, we will reduce by 50%. And that's nice and simple, nice and easy. Um, but there's a different way of doing it called science-based targets. And science-based targets say that we are going to reduce our carbon down by X, but the X changes every year depending on how we as a species are doing with planet Earth. And there's a group of scientists, uh, the great and the good, there really are some, some top-notch guys on a panel. And they meet once a year and they say, right, to meet the targets that we've set to keep the warming of the Earth under one and a half degrees, we have to reduce our carbon by this much each year. And if things get worse, they'll increase that. So we know we need to increase by more. And if things get better, no, we increase by less. And they do that by lots and lots of measurements, lots and lots of calculations. That's the science part of it. So the difference between a straight, simple, by 2030, we'll save 50%, and do you know what? We're going to save as much as this group of scientists say we have to. That's the science-based targets. So if you follow science-based targets methodology, you say, look, we're just going to do really broadly what the scientists say. And I think from memory, and double check this, don't use it as gospel, but it's currently 4.5% of scope one and scope two. 2.5% of scope three yeah, per annum, and that's a cumulative saving down. But as I say, that changes when they sit each, each time. So that's science-based targets, um, only really used for big companies. So I'm not saying smaller companies don't sort of use them, but the, the very, big, very big, very large companies will pretty much all use science-based targets to set their sort of criteria for saving. How was that, Mariel? Did that make sense? Great, good, good, good. Look, if you've got any other questions for me, ping them in. If I can help, I will. See you next time.